apparently the Martian had a one night stand with Twilight. How is that fucking possible? The space between us. And it's basically about a boy who was born on Mars. These astronauts went to space to do a mission on Mars. Then the mother gave birth to a son. And then her mom, her mom passed away on Mars. And then they had to leave the boy on Mars. Uh, for some reason. 16 years later, the boy finds a way back to Earth. And then he meets this girl. And then we have a whole entire movie. And I gotta tell you, this movie was romantic to a point of boredom. I just want to talk about the good things, the positives. The great things about this movie is that... Um, Gary Oldman overacted. I mean, he overacts in most of his films, but yet, when he overacts, it's actually pretty good. But for this movie... He overacts a lot. I really can't take Britt Robertson's character seriously. I mean, she's 28 years old, and yet I can still see wrinkles on her face looking like she's a 40-year-old woman. Aza Butterfield. I want some toast. Warm, buttery toast. Aza Butterfield doesn't, doesn't really, really do a... I give out a good performance. Scenes where these two characters are falling in love with one another, they do things where 16 year olds shouldn't do. What were the writers thinking? Should, okay, if you're gonna do these these explicit scenes, why don't you have these characters older, like 21 years old? Pretty much the whole entire premise of this movie is finding Aza Butterfield. The, the premise was has potential. A boy who is trapped on, who was, who was lost on Mars, comes back to Earth to understand Earth and learn Earth. This movie wasn't really about that. This movie was primarily about him being in love with Brent Robertson, which I will explain in the first part of the review. And that's pretty much it. This movie was very, very disappointing. It wasn't shit. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. Overall, overall, I have to give this movie a Val Kimmer. This is a pretty much a teen romantic drama. Um... Maybe young teenagers might like it. Maybe 13 years, 14 years, 15 years, 16 years. What do you think? Have you seen this movie? Give me your thoughts and we can talk about it and discuss it. All right, that's my review for Space Between Us. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you like everything you see and you agree, join me and the Batman family. I have more Batman Tastic reviews on the way. And stay tuned for my review for Star Wars stories coming real soon. All right, you have been warned. Till then, ciao.